Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. In this video, we're going to create a new game project using Bakin. If you're not familiar with Bakin, it's a 3D RPG game engine, which is very similar to RPG Maker. So there's a lot that the engine does for you that will take forever in like Unity or Unreal. It of course will have limitations, but I do think limits can open up your creativity. What's great about RPG developer Bakin is that it actually walks you through that setup process. Now, once you purchase Bakin from Steam um, and you get everything loaded up, uh, this is going to be your first screen. Now, here in the center, this is where you're gonna get started and at the bottom right, you will hit the next button. But on the left side, we have create new history, local PC, game gallery, Steam workshop, asset showcase, info and tips, cre uh, configuration and exit tool buttons, right? So for history, these are some projects I've been playing with uh, using Barking. We have Synth Paradise, which is the name of the project. Um, and then uh, this other project is just a game that I've been just kind of uh, idealizing, like just kind of thinking about. But this is the main one um, I'm gonna create. But what I wanna do is actually walk you through the setup process. The local PC um, area is where your files and things are gonna be located. Game gallery is, I guess, a way to download a full project and you can kind of see how things work. For instance, the 3D asset tutorial is a full project and with that project, it brings 3D characters, um, 3D objects, and all types of things if you're making like a 3D based game. Now, keep in mind, all of Bakin is really 3D, but if you find out and notice that you can also use 2D sprites. So, Steam Workshop, I'm not 100% sure what this really is about. I have to look into it. Again, I'm new to Bakin, so um, I'm kind of learning on the fly as we, as we kind of go through this. Asset Showcase, this is currently loading. And so with this, um, you get to download assets. So you have some amazing artwork here, pixel scapes and charming Chinese uh, townscape and, and all types of different things. Layout data classy, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I'm gonna try it out because it's DLC and it's available to purchase. And you just have to follow, I believe these links, but we can talk about that type of stuff later. Info and tips. So what info and tips is, is basically um, almost like a browser within the Barkeen menu. So um, this is pretty much YouTube. So you could just go to YouTube. I don't really use this. I have a three monitors, one on the left side here, left and right side here. So I'll just have like my Brave browser up on the left side. So um, I probably wouldn't utilize this, but at least they show you, A, this is how you can get to it if you have a question about it. Um, and then you have your configuration. So this is kind of your languages and font stuff and game file location. So basically just a few other bits of information that could be very useful for you. All right, and you got your exit tool, nothing special there. All right, so we're gonna go to create new, all right. So the first thing is at the very bottom, hit the next button. Now I have already created my project. I just wanted to walk through this process with you. Um, so basically you would name your game. So you can name your game so we could call it, you know, my new game, my name or my new game. Name it whatever game name you want. And then you put in your subtitle. I'll just leave it here. And then you can put in your your creator name. So I'll just put in IGH. All right, so next I'll go ahead and hit next. All right, so on this screen, basically what they're saying is, do you wanna start a project with some assets, houses, trees, characters, or do you wanna kinda of start the project with very minimal data to where you have to kinda of start from scratch? I personally like to start with their projects with some data already in it because it, it kind of helps you understand what you need to do or what it kind of should look like. Um, and I kind of recommend it for anyone getting started. So I'm gonna, since I'm getting started, I'm gonna use it as well. So I'm hit next. All right, so I've been through this. So basically what this is, is they want us to double click in both of these windows. And when you double click, 
here. The first one on the left side is our main cast. So kind of like our main hero, as you can see the name down here. So I'm gonna double click here and Bakina is gonna load, it's preparing the data. And so you have your 3D stamps and then you have your 2D stamps. So since we don't have much 3D data um, here, all of the 2D stamps are our 2D character. So as you can see, they're using sprites for our 2D. Even though it's a 3D, it's amazing how all of this works. I really like the way this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and use Hero A. You can choose whichever hero you prefer, but Hero A. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit Add and Exit. All right, so for the layout, what this is, is going to be, I believe, the, the, the dialogue bust. So for instance, when the character's talking or something like that, you can choose one or the other. I'm just gonna go ahead and choose the full length here. And so hit add and exit. Cool, and that's it. And so at the bottom, you can change the hero name. I'm not gonna change it. Just wanna show you, you can kinda text, uh, change the text here. I'm just gonna leave it as hero since this is just an example project. And I'm gonna hit next. All right, great. All right, so on this screen it gives you an option to choose different camera settings so um, this camera setting that I'm gonna go with for this project is going to be the player central view um, I am going with I think a side view camera um, however I wouldn't choose this one because this is like your traditional 2d side view think like a Super Mario or something like old-school Super Mario or whatever so I'm more going for like a Zelda type of game or something where the camera is kind of overhead or think of like a 2.5 D kind of look. So this is what I'm going for. Now, if you want, you can choose something like a behind the player or you can even do a first person view. But I'll just go ahead and choose this one. All right, and then in terms of operation mode, it's basically how you control your character. So I'm gonna go with the first option, the top view option. You can do tank controls or you can do a side view operation. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the first one here. And then uh, what's great about this is that you have the option to do jumping with inertia movement. So basically, you know, do you want to jump or don't you want to jump? And the inertia movement is basically, for instance, say you're moving the controller over and then you let go, your character might still be moving a little bit. And so um, I do want that feeling um, and I'll show you what that kind of looks like here soon. All right, great. So now, good job. It says, right? We're so far. We're we're getting. We're doing something, right? So what we want to do is hit test play. We can kind of see and test that. And here it's gonna generate a map. So we're gonna hit yes there. All right, and it's preparing our project and everything set up. All right, cool. So look at that. So we have our new game name here, whatever name you chose, and then you can go up and down using the arrow keys or the WS or your um, WSAD. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit new game, hit enter. Great, and so there you have it, right? You have your character that you chose. You can walk left and right, and you see how when I let go and he still kind of slides, that's that inertia movement, and we're gonna reduce that. Um, I have a plan to have, there's a few videos. I have about maybe four or five different videos, and each one is going to basically be some of the requirements that I'm thinking for this game. So um, the first thing I wanna do is change how the player jumps. I wanna change how far this movement is. You know, should he slide so much? I want to change the default camera. Um, I want to kind of start working with how the map works. And I want to kind of implement some game mechanics that I have in mind for this particular project. So those um, things are the kind of be the first few videos that we kind of walk and go through. And I've already kind of walked through just those so I can get familiar just a little bit with the engine as a whole. 
and then once I passed that that first game mechanic, um, everything from there on in my mind, um, I have not thought through. So it's kind of like on the fly figuring it out. All right, cool. So a few notes here. So you can move with the WSAD, the arrow keys. You can run holding down shift. You can jump with the X button as well, which is really nice. Um, that's cool. If you hit the tab button, you can pull up the menu and you get to see some other details, which is nice. And all of that, we'll get into all this stuff later, much later. Cool. Um, and in terms of rotating the camera, we can turn the camera using the Q and the E. Um, we can tilt the camera using the R and the F. Now for this game, my goal is to actually have the camera something like this throughout the whole game to where it's a side view but you can walk in and out and you will not be able to tilt the camera okay um, and so that's going to be how i'm going to approach it and i'll show you how um, i'm going to limit some of that functionality for the player so they won't be able to move the camera that sort of thing so if that's a pr if that's something and you want to do in your project you you know I'll have a tutorial or a way to do that, or at least show you how I approached it, because I would imagine there's probably multiple ways to do that, right? So anyway, so that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and hit the X button. So I can close this window. And what we're gonna do at the very bottom now is hit start editing. All right, so now we have opening game, and there you have it. Now the project is ready to go for you to kind of start working with Baki. All right, so in the next video, what we're gonna do is kind of go over the interface and to kind of show you around and kind of show you what I do know, what I don't know, and just kind of get comfortable using what is there. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.